It's, uh, you know, we've watched it uh, creep south and go back north, and now it's coming south again. North already snowing, reports now of freezing rain. Let's check a couple of uh, weather cams. Here's the storm tracker cam. Rain here in Albany. But the temperature just dropped to 32. It's not going to be long before it starts to ice up, folks, even here in the immediate capital region. Up in Glens Falls, still some light snow. It's a winter wonderland up in Glens Falls, but again, it's sticking to the roads. Temperatures are dropping. It's going to get really slippery tonight. Quick check at the temps. Here's that cold air nosing down the Hudson Valley. 31 Saratoga, Albany 32, 27 at North Creek, Glens Falls uh, 29. By contrast, it hasn't made it into Bennington yet. North Adams 40, Pittsfield 39, Hudson 39, and near freezing off to the west, getting reports of some freezing rain out in uh, Schoharie County. So here's the cold air. It's steadily pushing southward, so that transition zone between the snow and the rain means sleet and freezing rain for a while. Now, this is what we call the correlation coefficient. It's used on Doppler radar to sometimes to pick out different types of precip. And you can see this line here clearly on the radar. Right through Amsterdam, just changed to snow. This denotes where we think the rain-snow mix line is. Mostly snow north, mostly rain south, or even some freezing rain. So it's snowing here, we know that. Adirondacks over to Lake George. Rain here, but we're getting close to getting some freezing rain, even here in Albany. So folks, you got to be careful if you're going out later this evening, because the temperatures will continue to drop. Icy conditions now in the hill towns, back into uh, Schoharie County. This literally is a conveyor belt of moisture. Arctic air, warm air, the battle zone, and these little ripples of low pressure right up on that front, and you know the end result. It enhances the precip. So a mess tonight. It's going to get worse as the night goes on, icier and snowier to the north. 7 a.m. snowing in Albany, ice still just to the southeast, slowly working south by midday, and then gradually tapering off in the afternoon. So tomorrow morning's commute, let me tell you, it's going to be a mess. Look at the contrast in snowfall amounts. I mean, tightly packed here. Each band is like 15, 20 miles wide. We still think four to eight inches of snow and sleet here, probably close to four in Albany, eight up in Clifton Park. So in this band, on average, four to eight, two to four just to the south of Albany, Columbia County, Central Berkshires, an inch or two, eight to 12 through Saratoga Springs, back into parts of the Mohawk Valley, 12 to 18, Adirondacks, central and southern Adirondacks, across Lake George into central sections of Vermont. Icing will become a bigger issue. Parts of the Berkshires, Columbia County, back over Greene County in the Catskills. These areas will pick up over a quarter of an inch of ice. And of course, that's worse than snow, at least for driving and walking. No melting tomorrow. Behind the storm, tomorrow afternoon, temperatures in the teens. So everything freezes up. Even if you get rain and sleet, it's going to freeze solid. Ice and snow slowly working south, all snow to the north, about 17 tonight by morning. Tomorrow, snow tapering off in the afternoon, still some ice in the morning, early in the day, a high of 19, becoming partly sunny, 18 on Saturday, mostly cloudy, 25 on Sunday, back up to 33 Monday, and next week looks fairly quiet with seasonable temperatures. John? All right, Cap Dallas.